hey y'all welcome to our channel today we will be frying fish some will be sauced with barbecue and some will be sauced with buffalo all right now let's get into it y'all all right y'all so real quick i'm gonna just show y'all a quick process on how we skin the fish and this is whiting fish real simple you just take it by the tip and don't worry about it breaking because that's going we're going to use that later and you just pull it right off you're running it under um like lukewarm water because you want the skin to come off nice and easy so you're just going to take another one run it under the water and then just take the tip and pull it back and it'll come off when you run it under the water and sometimes the skin breaks because it be stuck under the fish but don't worry about it you just pull it and it'll come a loose and you just pull it straight off and just put the skins to the side don't throw them away because we want to need them for later and i'll show you what we want to do with them so don't even worry about it and one more time i'm just show y'all one more time and you're just going to pull the skin from the tip and just pull it right off nice and easy just like that all right y'all here we got our fish already skinned and ready to go seasoned on both sides baby all right season your meat on both sides so it could be nice and good good all right and so here we're gonna uh our batter is with flour and it's like a cornmeal flour it's not like the gritty cornmeal it's the cornmeal um flour and i just mix them together and yes y'all i season the batter okay season everything honey and then we got our grease right here, nice and hot, ready to go. Let me see. Let me show y'all something. This is a little trick. You want to see if your flowers Ooh, ready? Look at that percolation. You know that, that percolating. Like, okay, Mom. Percolating. percolating. All right. So, look, y'all. It's real simple. All we do is, you know, to, and this is whiting, y'all. I love fried whiting. You know, people be sleeping on the whiting, and I don't even know why. And, yes, y'all, don't be talking about me because I put my batter in a, um, a plastic bag yes this is how you get it done okay this is how it's gonna be nice and good battered all the way up okay that's what you want you want to be you want you want your fish to be shooking with love honey okay because that's how it's gonna get all up on her and y'all this fish is a little frozen because you could do fish like that especially whiting you could fry it um frozen it ain't gonna make no never mind it's still gonna be good 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 this ain't no uh chicken okay and you put that in there and you let it go this is gonna cook for about hmm, i'll say a good 15 minutes because we want it to be nice hard crunchy on the outside soft and juicy on the inside all right now i'm gonna go ahead and um i'm gonna do one more for y'all and then we're gonna uh you know, cut the clip in, until it's time for us to uh, dip it in the sausage. Okay, I know a lot of y'all ain't never had no um, barbecue fish or no buffalo fish, but I'm finna give it to y'all today. Alright. Look. See, it's nicely better. It's nice. It's all on there. Nice and pretty. Up, oh, we got a little piece. We're gonna put a little flour right there because we want it to be all the way covered y'all okay and then look and don't overcrowd your grease when you got a size like this you might want to just do like three at a time you don't want to overcrowd it because then it'll start cooking all weird the batter will start falling off and that's not what we want we want our bed we want our batter on there nice tight and right all right so i'm gonna get back with y'all all right y'all here we go here go the first batch nice hard crispy look at that 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 nicely seasoned and we just gonna take them out look and some of them gonna curl don't worry about it it's good it's gonna be still gonna be good some of them act like that sometimes you know they got their own personality each uh filet got their own personality don't worry about it Still gonna be good. Look at that. Look at that. And then let um let me tell y'all something. Y'all can season this with whatever seasonings y'all wanna um season it with. But I'll put the seasonings that I use in the description box so y'all ain't even gotta worry about it just in case y'all wanna know. And um 
Yeah, y'all, we're gonna uh, keep going with the flow. Put three more in. We got a couple batches to go. And we're gonna get right back to y'all with the sauces. All right, y'all. We got these skins right here. What you thought we was finna throw them away? No, baby. We finna make some fish skin chips, okay? Uh-uh. You ain't throwing these away. We finna eat these. Look. Pick one up. Pop it in the grease. Fling flop. Do it again with the rest of them. You just lay them in the grease. Just lay them down. Lay them up in there. Look, we got some that still got the fish on it. Lay them up in there. Mm -mm, waste nothing. I told y'all in my last video, we eat skins around here. Look. Put them in and let them do their thing. You could use these as a um, salad topping, you know, or you yes, could eat them with hot sauce, sauce or, yeah. or ketchup or whatever the heck, or nothing. Mm -hmm, or nothing. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. All right. I'm going to let them cook for about five minutes. And then we're going to pull them out and get back to our fish. All right, y'all. The fish is all ready to go. We just gonna take a couple and do some barbecue sauce on them, and then a um, couple more and make buffalo ones. So right now we're gonna start off with the barbecue. I mix this with barbecue sauce and sweet chili sauce, and it's just real simple. You just gonna take a piece of your fish and just dunk it in there. You know, let me get my little my little spatula and just you know get it all up on there. You know, because our fish is, you know, you want to get every little nook and cranny. Get the sauce up all up in the curls, all up over there. You don't have to uh, fill your bowl up with the sauce. Just, you know, use the spatula. Help you get it all up in there. It'll get nice and covered. Just like that. And then I'm going to put them right here on my uh, good Goodwill uh, plates. This is why I like these plates because these are the plates that you can put in the oven. And they ain't going to break. We're going to do another one. We're going to do like three barbecue and three buffalo. So we just going to get it all up in there. And don't throw this sauce away when you're done. Uh, if you got sauce left over, don't throw it away. Just put it back in the refrigerator, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with the sauce. You can reuse the sauce for something else. You got to get all up in the curls right here. You want it all over. Okay, just don't be doing the most breaking the fish. Because you still want it to be nice and, you know, pretty. We're going to do one more. We're going to get one that ain't curled so much. I'm just going to put it in there. You don't want to break the fish. You still want it to look pretty. So just use your spatula. You know, it's going to get the same effect. And then that's that for the barbecue. And then we're going to go ahead and um, do the buffalo. And then we're going to put them in the oven and we're going to show y'all when it come back out. We're going to do the same thing with the buffalo. 
And I'm going to show you that. And then we're going to put them all in the oven. And we're going to show you the end product. All right, y'all. Here we go with the um, buffalo. And just dunk it in there. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all ain't never had no uh, buffalo fish. Okay. Literally. Y'all don't even know what y'all missing. Like, I like the hot fish better than the barbecue. That's just me because yeah. I like hot stuff. You know, I got over the barbecue kick, you know, but I still didn't get over the hot. I like the, let me tell you why I like the, uh, <laughs> and it's going to sound crazy, y'all, but look, let me tell y'all why I like the buffalo one because I love my condiments, okay? And blue cheese is my favorite condiment. And the buffalo with the, um, Blue cheese is bomb, okay? Now, this one is a little bit more uh, easier to cover because it's an um, inner sauce. So, and you know, you just, you just, bam, put it on the plate. And you just dunk it in there. Just get it all up in there. Okay? Just don't be doing the most. Just dunk breaking. it in there. <laughs> Just breaking the thing. <laughs> what? Just go on and dunk, dunk it in, in there. there. Yeah. <laughs> Look. This is fire. I'm telling you. Look. Especially when it come out the oven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, there, right there. Perk, perk, percolate. Percolating. <laughs> Just in case you don't know. And you don't, you know what? The ones you're going to um put in the sauce. You don't have to uh, fry those all the way hard because it's going to go in the oven and cook some more. So you don't want it to be all, you know, hard, hard to where it's like, you know, about to break your teeth or something. You know, you want it to be, you still want it to be, you know, a hard, but you want it to be juicy in the inside, crunchy on the outside. Look. Yeah. Put that right there. And then we're just going to take these and I put the oven on uh, about 325 because you don't, we ain't cooking the fish. We just, we just want our sauce to get all percolated onto the fish. We want it to be on there nice and good. And yes, I'm going to put the whole plate in the oven because this is why these is my good fancy place. Because these are the place you can put in the oven. Who Y'all don't got plates like this, do y'all? So we're going to put them in the oven. We're going to have them in there for about... 10 minutes and then we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna you know show out for y'all all right all right y'all here we go period so we got our salad you know we love our veggies we gotta have our salad we had a little bit of uh, crab meat left over you this know crab and spinach salad period this is the buffalo see we looking like when it's all done this is our barbecue. Look at that. Percolating. Perk, perk. And then we got our uh, oven roasted french fries. You know, we try to be on the healthy side. We got a lot of fried food going on around here. You got to try to balance it out. And here we go with our fish skins. Now, listen, you can make a fish salad with all of the, using whatever one of these fishes you um, would prefer. Top it off with the fish skins and baby. I don't know how y'all how y'all do it, but where we from, fries go in our salad. We put fries in our salad, and it's delicious. Okay, but you know, do what you want to do. You want to make a sandwich? You can make a sandwich with either one of these. You know, do it how you want to do it. Period. This is the spread. We finna eat, y'all. Thank y'all for watching our channel. We appreciate it. We love y'all. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.